Are you trying to manifest on a deadline? Is there something coming up that you are trying to manifest by a specific time or date? If you are trying to manifest something on a deadline and want to know the exact ways to successfully pull this off, then definitely stick around through the end of this video because we're going to talk about how to manifest in a certain time frame or on a deadline. What's up guys? I am Missy Renee and on this channel we talk about manifesting. We talk about everything that has to do with manifesting. How to do it, how to properly apply it so that you can successfully manifest anything that you want even if it's on a deadline. So if manifestation and conscious creation are topics that you would like to learn more about Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I come out with new videos. I release videos every week that all pertain to manifesting and conscious creation and how to create the life that you have always wanted. If you're interested in learning about one-on-one -on -one coaching, I will also have that information down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. This helps trigger the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this content. And this video has actually been requested a couple of times now, and it is a question that I get fairly often. A lot of people are interested in learning about how to manifest on a schedule or by a specific date or in a specific time frame, and I get a lot of questions around this. Can I manifest on a deadline? Is it even possible? And if so, what do I have to do if something is coming up? So if you're somebody who is trying to manifest something and is racing against time to get it done, then this is 100% the video for you. And just a quick announcement before we get started, I have another workshop coming up, this time on revision. I wanna thank everybody who came to my last workshop. I had a lot of fun with you guys, so we're doing another one coming up soon. This time it's about revision, and guys, if you're interested in learning more about revision and the step-by-step -step specific details that you're going to need in order to successfully revise, definitely sign up for this one. I will link a 50% off coupon down in the description box below. If you want to learn how to manifest the future by changing your past, this is absolutely one that you don't want to miss. So diving into this, can we manifest on a deadline? Can we manifest something to happen by a certain time or date? Well, the short answer is yes, <laughs> absolutely. You can manifest anything and you are limitless. That said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that people who are new to manifesting do this. And that's not to say that you shouldn't or that it's not gonna work if you're new to manifesting because you can do anything. Again, anything is possible. You are the god of your reality and you decide whatever happens to you. I wouldn't put that kind of pressure on you necessarily at first. If you don't absolutely have to have something set up against a deadline, I would personally recommend to try to keep it as general as possible. And the only reason I say this is because I've noticed that for a lot of people, and I was certainly guilty of this myself, a lot of people will get really hung up on focusing on the lack of their desire, especially as they get closer and closer to their time frame or that date that they set for themselves. Most of the time, for people that are new to manifesting, until they have really built up that belief system and that knowing that you are the god of your reality and you're not reacting to everything on autopilot, and we all have the tendency of doing that, especially when we're new to this, I wouldn't recommend putting any extra pressure on yourself if you don't have to. And this can go for anybody, even people who have been doing this for a long time. I prefer to keep it as general as possible because you want the feeling of the wish fulfilled to feel as natural as possible. And the more that you put any kind of restriction on that, the more that you put any kind of pressure or stress or it has to happen by this time, you're only going to have a more difficult time of living in that end, in that wish fulfilled and not reacting to your outside circumstances and not freaking out and reacting if it hasn't shown up yet. 
So this is something that I would personally tell people who are new to this, that I would not start out on my manifestation journey trying to set up time frames and deadlines for myself, at least until you have built up that faith enough that you don't have any doubt or question or until you get to the point where you have so much faith in your ability to manifest that you don't ever question it, you know it's coming, nothing can deter you from that. There has to be that rock solid foundation in place first. Now that said, you still can absolutely manifest on a time schedule or on a time frame. And what I would recommend doing at first for people who are new to this and for people who are just getting into Neville's teachings, I would put this into practice first. Again, everything that has to do with Neville is all about testing it and trying it and really applying these teachings so you can see the results for yourself. There is no better and faster way that you are going to gain the confidence and that security and that unshakable knowing that you are the creator than if you put this to the test. And a couple ways that you can do this when it comes to setting up time frames is give yourself a couple of smaller, not so significant manifestations first and give those a deadline, give those a time frame. So for example, write out a list that contains three to five things on it that you were trying to manifest by a specific date. But make sure that the things that you were trying to manifest don't carry a whole lot of weight or stress or pressure. So for example, you can put down, I received a compliment today. I received a really special gift. I saw a pink turtle or a green butterfly or whatever. Something small and something that doesn't carry a whole lot of weight to it. But also make sure that there are things that don't happen to you frequently enough that you can just chalk it up as coincidence. So keep them unique, but keep them simple. And again, this is another faith building exercise because if you give yourself this list of things to manifest by a certain date and you start seeing those things appearing by that date, that's going to build the confidence. That's going to build the faith. That's going to build the belief that you need in order to successfully manifest, especially on a deadline. You can also do this by scripting it out. Scripting out a simple journal entry with those small things that you were trying to manifest and writing down a date in the future and watch how those things start to manifest by that date. So if it is Wednesday, you're trying to manifest a specific thing by Saturday, write out that scripting entry for Saturday. Put the date on there as Saturday. Remember, you want to put yourself in that place and time as if it already happened or already is happening to you. And do the small steps like this. I would recommend everybody start here. If you want to perfect the art of manifesting in a certain time frame, I would start with the smaller, more simple things that you're not going to hold that resistance against, you're not going to have that pressure on you, you're not going to be so quick to react to it not showing up, you're not going to be stressing yourself out about it. This by and far is going to be the best exercise for you to start building up this muscle and building up that faith that you are going to need if you want to successfully manifest, especially in a time frame. But what about people who have a pressing deadline against them? What if there's something that is coming up and you don't have a choice but to try to manifest something and that date is coming up whether you like it or not? And the most common instances for this are people that are trying to manifest money, whether it's their bills are coming up or they have an unexpected emergency that popped up and they need money like now. In these circumstances, I would recommend two things. The first being set the intention that everything always works out for me. This is a powerful intention and you'll find that no matter what happens, if you can be grounded in this intention and if you can really persist in this assumption, you will find that no matter what challenge that may be in front of you now, what you perceive to be a hindrance, something is going to work in your favor. You may not know exactly what, and that's okay, 
Because if you have the assumption that everything always works out, then that assumption will harden into fact and you'll find that everything will always work out in your favor. So when I set intentions, I do it when I am in meditation or in a deep state of relaxation. And you can obviously do this anytime, but I find that those are the times that work best for me as far as getting that intention impressed onto the subconscious mind. The second thing that I would recommend doing is the same thing that you would do for anything that you were trying to manifest. Use your imagination. It is through imagination that we manifest everything and anything that we want. When we invoke that feeling of having our desire in imagination, once that is impressed onto the subconscious, it will materialize in your 3D world. You want to outline an imaginal scene that were to happen if your desire came to fruition. And if you want to manifest on a deadline, then make sure to add an element in your imaginal scene that implies that you have met said deadline. For example, if you have an unexpected bill that's coming up, go into imagination and imagine getting a confirmation that that bill has been paid. This would imply that you have successfully come up with money or whatever it is that you need to manifest in order to get it taken care of. But create a scene, create a mental picture that would only happen if you had your desired outcome and put yourself in that end, in imagination. This works best if you can take that imaginal scene and that imaginal image with you into sleep. So bringing it up right before bed, right as you're drifting off to sleep and looping it, giving it all the tones of reality that you can muster, getting as vivid a picture as you possibly can. If you're able to successfully do that, invoke the feeling of already having it, it's already done, you're feeling that relief, you're feeling that satisfaction, you're feeling that peace in knowing that it's finished, it's no longer a concern. You take that with you into sleep and it is a done deal. And Neville talked about this a few times when he mentioned manifesting by a specific date. And I'm gonna give you a quote by him to give you more context. If today were Wednesday and you decided that it would be quite possible for your desire to embody a new realization of yourself by Sunday, then Sunday becomes the point in time that you would visit. To make this visit, you shut out Wednesday and let in Sunday. This is accomplished by simply feeling that it is Sunday. Begin to hear the church bells. Begin to feel the quietness of the day and all that Sunday means to you. Actually feel that it is Sunday. When this is accomplished, feel the joy of having received that which on Wednesday was but a desire. Feel the complete thrill of having it, of having received it, and then return to Wednesday, the point in time you left behind you. In doing this, you created a vacuum in consciousness by moving from Wednesday to Sunday. Nature, abhorring vacuums, rushes in to fill it thereby fashioning a mold in the likeness of that which you potentially create, namely the joy of having realized your defined desire. As you return to Wednesday, you will be filled with a joyful expectancy because you have established the consciousness of that which must take place the following Sunday. As you walk through the interval of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, nothing disturbs you regardless of conditions because you predetermine that which you would be on the Sabbath, and that remains an unalterable conviction. So Neville is essentially saying that if you go to the place in time, in imagination, that you would like to realize your desire, if you go there knowing that it is done, when you return to yourself in your present moment, you will know that conviction, you will feel that conviction, because whatever takes place in imagination has to materialize in your 3D world. And I'm gonna give you a personal example of this. I'm gonna share with you guys a story 
of one of the times that this has successfully worked for me. I've had a lot of success in doing this and now after having done this for so long, I can absolutely put myself in that time and place and feel it, know it's complete and it materializes every single time. But about two years ago or so, I was apartment hunting. My lease was coming up. I had given my 30 day notice that I was gonna be vacating the property because I, was, I just didn't wanna renew my lease. I knew I wanted to move, but I didn't quite know where I wanted to go just yet. So a couple of days after I had put in my notice that I would be vacating, I found the perfect apartment. It was so cute. It was so perfect. It was exactly what I was looking for. It was clean, it was spacious. It was in my perfect budget range. It was in a part of town that was super convenient for me to get anywhere. I was in love with this building. I was in love with this place and I wanted that apartment so bad. So when I talked to the managers at the property, they told me that unfortunately, we don't have any vacancies coming up in the time that you're looking to move in. They told me that they could put me on a waiting list and that they can call me, but it probably wasn't gonna happen for at least a couple of months until they had an opening. So I grabbed a business card and I gave them my number and my name in case anything were to come up because I was determined to get this apartment. So I went into my imagination every night and I imagined myself decorating my new home. I was sitting in a chair that was facing out, looking out the balcony where I could see the skyline and it was just so serene. And I put as many of my senses into that scene as possible. And I created as vivid as a picture as I possibly could. And I did this night after night after night. So a couple weeks went by and I was getting closer and closer to the day that I had to move out and I still had not yet received any sign that I was gonna be able to move into that place. Now, at this point, any other time in my life, I would have absolutely panicked because I was so set on getting this place that I didn't even look at any other apartments. I didn't have any other backups <laughs> because I was that stubbornly persistent and I knew that whatever I desire has to be mine. It already exists, it's already in consciousness, it already exists, and it's already mine. I knew it was done. Three days before my lease was up, <laughs> like literally 72 hours before my ass had to be out of there, I got a call from their leasing office. And I'll never forget this moment because this was the first time I had manifested something big on a deadline. I spoke to the lady at the leasing office and she told me that the person who was planning on moving in had to back out at the last minute. So she asked me if I still wanted the apartment. And I was like, holy shit, this is unreal. I was on the verge of having to crash on somebody's couch because I was about to be out of a home. But sure enough, I persisted in that mental image. I persisted in my imagination knowing that I had that place, knowing without any doubt that it was done. And then sure enough, I got the call three days before I had to be out of there. It was so funny. And then a couple days later, I was living out my scene that I had been playing out in imagination, only this time I was living it in real life and experiencing it in my 3D world. So go and prepare a place for yourself. Once having done so, live in that end. Make sure that you don't respond or don't react to anything that is circumstantial around you. Anything that may be showing up that is opposite of what you desire, that is telling you that you can't get it by the certain date that you've set, you must persist in that wish fulfilled. And if any time doubt starts to creep up, if any time that nagging voice in the back of your head starts to tell you that something is wrong and that it's not gonna happen or that you're not gonna get it, go back to that feeling in imagination. Go back to that feeling that you had while looping that scene, that satisfaction, that happiness, that excitement, that peace. Go there. 
Again, everything that you experience in your 3D world was once only a figment of your imagination. Imagination precedes what you experience in your outside reality. So create a scene that implies that you have your desire by a specific date or time. Another thing that can help that has helped me in the past is noting a calendar in your imaginal scene so that you see the date and time while you're experiencing that wish fulfilled playing out. I have also used this to manifest on a deadline and I've had a lot of success by doing so. If you can put that much more reinforcement in your imaginal scenes, you're going to have a better time of it playing out by the desired time and date. So again, if you're new to this and if you are trying to build up that faith and build up that conviction to manifest by a deadline, start out by testing it first. Test the law on everything, on small things, on things that don't carry that weight and pressure that can throw you off and keep you focusing on lack. Practice doing this until you really start to believe on a fundamental level that you can manifest anything by a specific time. I cannot emphasize hard enough how much this is going to help you build that faith. Because remember, you manifest what you believe to be true and what you feel to be true. So in order to make this a natural process to feel that easygoing satisfaction and that knowing without any doubt that you can do this, practice it on everything. Make a list of the things you are trying to manifest by this date or script it out from the date that you have set stating that you already have it. The more that you put this into practice, the more success you will find. Because every time that you do this consciously, that's just going to further cement your conviction and knowing that you can do this. But if you are on a deadline, if you are up against the wall, something is coming down the pike and you have to manifest before that date, then absolutely use the biggest tool that you have in your arsenal. And that is your imagination. Create that scene and then put yourself in that scene go to that place in time where it is already done and feel yourself there. Persist in doing this every night if you have to until you start to feel like it is done and feel that absolute knowing where you get to that stillness because it is already a done deal. Once successfully impressed, it will play out exactly how you imagined it to go. Shut off the senses and put yourself in that end. Once impressed into the subconscious mind, it has no choice but to manifest exactly how you want it to go. So I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in checking out any of my other resources, I will link my blog, my coaching website, and my social links down in the description box below. And if you have any questions about this, about manifesting on a deadline, or anything that you may want me to talk about in future videos, definitely drop them in the comments below. Give me a shout. And do not forget to check out these videos over here. That playlist goes into all of the fundamentals that you are going to need to know in order to successfully manifest. So until next time, you guys, take care, be well, and never forget that you can do anything and how powerful you truly are. Happy manifesting.